Hey guys, it's your buddy the El Toro Fuerte, and of course, you know this guy. If you don't know him, who are you? My name is John Anthony Chihak Soltero, uh, otherwise known as the Anti-Hero. And what we're talking about today is a crowdfunding event, actually two in particular, that you're going to be hosting, correct? Correct. So give us a little bit of info, information on yourself. I was born and raised here in Tucson, Arizona, uh, graduated from Tucson High in 1996 and went to college at the Art Center Design Center, which is now Art Center Design College, which is now Southwest University of Visual Arts. A couple years after I graduated, I started actually creating comic books based on characters I had started creating in high school. I'm sure you've seen your fair share of ups and downs. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, it's, I mean, the, the creative process itself is, is just Full of ups and downs. I mean, it's not always easy. It's a very uh, emotional process. Mm -hmm. It can be extremely cathartic, which is great. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, uh, it's it's extremely draining. After you finish a project, sometimes you don't feel like working on anything for months. Um, but you want to continue the story of what you're doing. Absolutely. Not only that, but you've also had your share of real life situations that have derailed you. Correct? Yeah, definitely. So in in 19 or in 2017, uh, I had finished the script for the very first issue of the Bubba Patrol, which is a story about my dogs as superheroes. I decided I was just like, okay, so you got it, you got it written, print it out, make a physical copy, put it on your desk. You can't ignore it at that point. That was probably April in 2017. I put it on my desk. It started to get buried under other things. End of May 2017, on the 27th, exactly four years to the date of when her big brother Sabu passed away, the space dog Guri passed away as well. And, and as hard as that was for me, and then seeing the correlation and the connection between May 27th being an important day in my life, it spurred me forward to say, well, like, now you have to do it. So it was that motivating factor that really kicked everything into gear. And I, I can definitely understand how important, you know, those little companions are in our lives. I've had quite a few. You have one right now, and, and, you know, you just got to enjoy every day, you know, as much as you can. Just just like you would a human, because in, in reality, these, these guys are our babies. You know what I mean? At least that, that the, my, my little pup right now, as a matter of fact, I'd love to have you bubbify her uh, at some point yeah but you know yeah she was our first baby so tell us about bubble control the bubble controls I know you're, you're working on your third issue correct I'm working on the third issue and actually the the fourth project within the confines mm -hmm. for free comic book day this year I did a secret files and origins style book mm -hmm. that was a mini comic it had profiles on all six characters in the book that you've seen through the first two issues but I wanted to do something for a convention that's coming up and have it ready. And issue three isn't going to be ready by then. So I decided to write a short story about the little black dog that you see at the end of issue two and kind of tell you where he comes from, give you a little bit of insight into his power set and like how it works, and then kind of help tie the whole universe together once we get to issue three. Well, that sounds great. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I'm, you know, and, and my kids are huge fans, as, as you know. <laughs> so, uh, and if you haven't checked it out, I mean, where, where can people find these comics? Like, where, obviously, we can find you on Instagram, we can find you on Facebook. Definitely. But in, in terms of here in Tucson, uh, are you, is your work available in any of these stores here? Yes. Um, there are two retailers here who have been very gracious to give me some shelf space. Uh, one is Charlie's Comic Books on South Cold. Mm -hmm. um, since I first told him about wanting to make a comic book back in, I think, 03 when he first opened his shop, he, sight unseen, he said, bring it in. And he's given me shelf space since then. Nice. So there's, it's, that's huge. That's, what, 15 years plus that, yeah. that I've had shelf space guaranteed. Um, and now, more recently, uh, Ronnie of, of Harley's Toys and Comics has given me not just shelf space, but a lot of promotion. I mean, as you guys know, Ronnie does Harley's Heroes, and part of it, she likes to give out issue number one of the Bubble Patrol, um, just as an incentive and an insight for the, the kids who are making a difference in their community, and the Bubba's having that legacy and me being attached to that really means a lot, that these kids are hopefully being inspired by the books that they're reading and the characters they see. To speak on to your crowdfund project. Yes. What are we doing? When, where are we doing those at? When? What time? Give us some details. So, 
within the next week or so, probably in about a week and a half, I'm going to launch a crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo. Um, I've decided, based on a lot of research I've done, I've run three straight successful crowdfunding campaigns on Kickstarter. Um, but looking through things, I think Indiegogo is going to be the way to go this time. So I'll be updating with information on that. But to kind of spearhead that and give more of a physical presence to it, I'm actually putting together two events through both Charlie's Comic Books and Harley's Toys and Comics, a signing and sketch party event. All right. Um, what the intention is is to sell as much as possible and get people to contribute towards this crowdfunding campaign so that there's less of a financial need from the campaign itself once it's being run. Makes sense. All right. Well, and we've got the details. I think Charlie's already posted them, and I know Ronnie's already posted it, and I'll go ahead and bring that up right here on the screen so everybody can kind of take a look at that. Uh, they can follow you, right? Yeah, um, you can follow me on Facebook, um, AHB Kids, Kids with a Z. And then if you go to Instagram, um, we are ahb.kids, also with a Z. And um, one of the other things that I wanted to, to bring about, because I haven't gotten any emails yet, um, I'm running, uh, requesting people to tell the story of their Bubba's. We all have Bubba's in our lives, and if you send your story about why the animals in your life are important, what significance they have for you and for the rest of your family, like just special moments with them, um, we're gonna post those in upcoming issues. If you want if you've already read the book and you want to send in fan art, we're definitely interested in, in putting that forward because I want to promote not just the idea of my dogs, but all pets being special and they're not just pets they're not just animals they are in fact family members anybody who's who's interested in doing that i know several of you personally have your own that you you know would love to tell your story i know I, i'll i intend on doing that so I, I, you know, I'll, I'll be one of those people you can count me in and count me in as, as far as contributing towards your your project so absolutely you know you have my support totally um anything else you want to add um, I'm, I just want to say thank you uh, to you um, and to your family. Your family and yourself have both been really awesome with showing up to almost every single event, um, talking to your kids, asking questions, uh, drawing stuff for them. Um, and just the community here in Tucson uh, has been really, really supportive. Um, I'm also part of a comic book creator group here in Tucson. Uh, there's one in Phoenix, there's one in Tucson. And we do meet here at Harley's Toys and Comics on Saturdays uh, from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. unless there's like a large event going on. So if you are a comic book artist, if you're a writer, if you're just wanting to learn more about it or you're wanting to be part of a community, you can always swing by. There's all different skill levels, all different age levels here. And it's a very, very welcoming and open uh, group. And uh, it, it's it's a lot of fun to be around. Great. All right. How, pretty good turnout right now? Pretty good turnout right yeah. now. Actually, last week at, at Grand Central Toy Show, the group themselves had a like a large booth set up yeah. in the back corner and from what I talked to some of the the different group members there they said they did really well and they got a really good response so I'm, I'm super psyched to hear Excellent. That. there you go if you're interested in something like that or maybe you are you just don't know it yet come check it out anyway spend some time great guy right here so definitely you know we hope hopefully if you can support as much as you can if you can't you know support financially please share the video so you know share it as many people as we can get to see this let's support our, one of our local guys here and help him help him get his goal he does a lot and uh, you know has great intentions and, and has aspirations to do greater things and you know let's show him what we can do as a community thanks a lot thank you sir all right Bye.